James Dixon. I'm fighting out of Lions Gym. Professional record, uh, one and one. One knockout loss, one knockout win. In fact, I started it quite young, like everyone did, with karate. Realising that it was not useless, but it was not too effective. So I just I gave up martial arts for a long time, just played rugby from my teens. And then I picked up MMA from when I was 15. I seen, I remember, first ever bit of MMA I seen on TV was the Ultra Fire UK versus USA. Immediately I knew. That was it, you know what I mean? I knew it, I went out and got a job literally when I was 15 so I could pay for my gym membership and just uh, fell in love with it from then on. I've trained for 11 years. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the Bali, a steamer. If you've ever rolled a Bali, you understand the, the pressure this man can possess. I mean, it's quite quite renowned whenever people talk about when they've rolled a Bali or how he can tap people out just by laying his chest on top of you. I think that pressure style of Jiu-Jitsu is um, crucial when we look at the transition to MMA. When we look at just modern day jiu-jitsu, forgetting about the basics. A lot of people, when they go to jiu-jitsu school now, they see these Gordon Bryans and they start practicing their heel hooks and their Kimura traps. They forget about the basics, they forget about the positions, they forget about the pressure. And that style of jiu-jitsu, I don't feel transitions too well to MMA because they're sacrificing position for submission you're going to get punched in the face. The Braulio pressure style, where he can squash you and you can't do a thing about it. That, that is jiu-jitsu that's effective for when you're going to be punches somebody in the face. He started motivating me and helped me develop my style. I used to, as everyone is when they first get intimidated, they hung up on the UFC. The UFC is their, their only goal. Truthfully, I really enjoy fighting. I really enjoy training, learning from my training experiences, passing it on to my students and my fighters. So I don't actually mind where I go with it, in the sense of, of course I've got goals, you know what I mean? I think a professional show like Cage Warriors um, is a first stepping stone to get into something along these lines, maybe get a title shot in one of these small achievable goals that could one day maybe lead to, of course, the UFC. Nobody's going to say you never want to get into the UFC. But my sole focus is I enjoy fighting. This is what I love to do. Like I said, I have got goals, but it's not superseded by the enjoyment. You know, the enjoyment's the priority.